A bearing is an angle that's measured clockwise from north and it's always three figures. So let me write down clockwise. So it's always measured clockwise and it's always from north. So what I mean by that, if I've got a north line at A here, this is north, a bearing will always be measured clockwise from north, so in this direction. And we also need to know that we use three figures. So if it's 75 degrees, we write 0, 075 degrees. If it was 30 degrees, it would be 0, 030 degrees, 0, 030 degrees. So we always use three figures for a bearing. So it's clockwise from north and three figures. The first question here says measure the bearing of B from A. So it's from A. That means we're starting at A and going to B. So of B from A, the, ones, the one where it's from is where we start. So the bearing of B from A means this angle here. It's from north and clockwise. So if we take our protractor and spin it around until zero is lined up with our north line. So zero is lined up with our north line and we measure around from the clockwise in a clockwise direction and we get 110 degrees. So it's 110 degrees. And that's our answer. For the second question, for B, we want to measure the bearing of A from B. So this time we need a north line at B. And again, we're measuring clockwise from the north line. So it's this angle here. So it's clockwise from the north line. How can we find that angle? So we've got different options. So if you have a protractor that looks like this, a full circle, you could spin it around until you have zero lined up with the north line. And then measure around, so how far around till we get to the line, and that is 290 degrees. But if you don't have one of those, so the answer will be 290 degrees. We could measure the part of the angle that's not included. So measure this angle here, which using the inside scale goes to 70. So if we've got, if we measure 70 degrees here, for this angle, we know angles around the point add up to 360, and we can do 360, take away 70, to get 290 degrees. So either way, I suppose you could also, as a third way, you can measure this angle here. So... Let me explain what I mean there. Measure this angle here and add 180 onto it. So however you get there, it doesn't matter. But we're measuring clockwise from north and giving our answer as three figures. Here we have another question. The bearing of B from A is 70 degrees. Find the bearing of A from B. So we've got A and B. So from A to B is 70 degrees. So we'll have a north line at A, a north line at B, and we'll join them up. So we are saying that from A to B, so it'd be from north, from the north line, bearings are always clockwise. So it'd be 70 degrees 
in here. So from north and clockwise. So this angle is 70 degrees. And we need to find the bearing of A from B. So starting at B going to A. And again measured from north clockwise. So that's this angle here. This red angle here. So how can we work this out? Well we can work out this green angle. This angle in inside anti-clockwise from north we can work that out because we've got two north lines and they are parallel lines they're both going in the same direction and so 70 and our green angle here are co-interior angles if you walk down one of the north lines along the straight line and then back up the other north line you're going back the direction you came from. You've turned around. You've turned 180 degrees. So if 70 plus this angle equals 180, we can do 180 take away 70 and find out that the green angle in here is 110 degrees. That's not the bearing because the bearing is always measured from north. So we are going to do 360 take away 110 because angles around the point the whole way round is 360 so 360 take away 110 is 250 degrees so the bearing of a from b is 250 degrees okay one for you to try so give this one a go the bearing of b from a is 150 degrees so we've got an A, and then 150 degrees, so let's say it's down here somewhere, we've got B. So let's have a north line on A, a north line on B, and a line joining them up. So the bearing of A from B is 150. Of B from A is 150. So this one in here is 150. We want the bearing of A from B. So from B, and it's always clockwise measured from north. So it's the red angle we want. Let's work out the green angle because it's co interior. So 180 minus 150 is 30. Co interior angles always add up to 180 degrees. So we've got a 30 degree angle. Angles around the point add up to 360. So 360 take away 30 is 330 degrees. So the bearing of A from B is 330 degrees. And another example here. So this time we've got A and B, we've got two points again. We've got a 65 degree angle shown on the diagram, but that's not our bearing. It's not a bearing. It's not measured from north. It's not given in three figures. It's just an angle shown on the diagram. So we want to work out the bearing of B from A. So that's going to be from A. So that'll be from A measured from north clockwise and again this is co-interior angles co-interior angles always add up to 180 degrees so 180 minus 65 is 115 so the bearing of b from a is 115 degrees how about the bearing of a from b so that'll be from B, and it's from north, going clockwise. So it's this angle here. Angles around the point always add up to 360 degrees. So 360 take away 65 is 295 degrees. Okay, one for you to try, so give it a go. So part A, the bearing of B from A. So starting at A, going to B, measured from north clockwise. 
Co-interior angles add up to 180. So 180, take away 118 is 62 degrees. But remember bearings, we have to give us three figures. So we're going to write zero before 62. So zero and then 62 degrees. Find the bearing of A from B. So from B, start at B, from north, going clockwise. Angles around the point add up to 360 degrees. 360 take away 118. That's going to be 242 degrees. And to finish up, two questions. So pause the video, give them a go and press play when you're ready for the answers. The bearing of B from A is 210 degrees. So let's draw a little sketch of this. So we've got A from north, 210 degrees. So B is gonna be over here somewhere. And we'll draw a north line at A, a north line at B, and we'll join them up. So it looks something like this. The bearing of B from A is 210. So we're starting at A, it's from A, from north going clockwise is 210 degrees. Find the bearing of A from B. So how can we work this out? We can say that angles around the point add up to 360 degrees. So 360 take away 210 is 150. So the angle in here, this angle is 150. Co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So the bearing of A from B is this angle here, the green angle, which is co-interior with 150. So 180 take away 150 is 30. So it's 30 degrees, but it's a bearing. So we have to give our answer as three figures. So we write 0, 3, 0. 30 degrees with a zero in front. Question two. We've got 85 degrees shown on the diagram. That's not a bearing, it's just an angle given to us. We need to find the bearing of B from A. So from A to B, from north going clockwise. And we can see that's co-interior with 85. So 180 take away 85 is 95. So it's 95 degrees. But remember, a bearing is always three figures. So that's our answer. And the bearing of A from B. So of A from B, that's this angle here. So it's from north and clockwise. Angles around the point add up to 360 degrees. So 360 take away 85 is 200 and 75 degrees.